Hello everyone, Luke here again. Next video here for Legacy Videos Link Evolution. This is the deck profile for the Metaphys deck I used in the Duelist Challenge. Anyway, let's get start off with this deck with the monsters. So, Evil Swarm Salamandra. Up to twice per turn, you can banish a monster from your graveyard, gains 300 attack until the end of your opponent's turn. So, the, the idea of this card is to banish my monsters from the graveyard so then they can get their effects during the next standby phase. Uh, okay, so these are the Metaphys monsters. They all have an effect. If it's special summoned by a Metaphys monster effect, they have an effect. Uh, so Daedalus is uh, banish all other face-up special monsters in the field. Also, if the Metaphys monsters are banished during the standby phase of the next turn, you can shuffle them into the deck and then they have another effect. So Daedalus is banish a Metaphys card from your deck except Daedalus. Um, Horus is uh, banish all set spells and trap cards on the field. And if this one's banished during your next demo phase, shuffle in the deck, add a Metaphys card from your deck to hand, except Nephthys. Uh, Ragnarok's actually a little different. His when it's normal special summon, you can banish top three cards of your deck, gains 300 attack for each banished Metaphys card. Uh, when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, special summon level five for high Metaphys monster, but banish it during the end phase of the next turn. You can uh, Tyrant Dragon, when a special summon, it can, it's unaffected by traps, and if it attacks a monster, it can make a second attack in a row, and when banished during the next standby phase, shuffle it into the deck, special summon a Metaphys monster from your hand, but banished during the next uh, end phase of the next turn. So yeah, they just keep uh, revolving around being banished, going back into the deck and special summoning, adding, etc. Necroface, if it's normal summoned, uh, shuffle or banish cards in the deck, gains 100 for each shuffled card and also if it's banished each player banishes five cards from their deck to their hand or their entire deck so yeah you can bench a lot of cards and plus for them decoy dragon uh when your monster is targeted from attack you can target one of your metaphys monsters that is banished or in the graveyard you can banish this card and if you do special summon that monster and attack during the standby phase next turn after this card is banished you can special summon this banished card uh, pendulum effect, when your monster is targeted from attack, you can target a Metaphys monster that is banished from the graveyard. Banish this card, and if you do, you special summon that one in attack version. And yeah, so uh, like the other decoy dragon, you just uh, special summons monsters. Um, as in Metaphys, is once per turn you can banish a Metaphys card from your hand and draw a card. Once per turn, if your Metaphys card in your own possession is banished, you apply this effect. Depending on whose turn it is, if it's your turn, all monsters on the field except Metaphys monsters lose 500 attack and defense. And during the opponent's turn, change the battle position of all monsters on the field except Metaphys monsters. One crossbreed, you banish two monsters from your hand and or face up from the field with the same original type and attribute. With, with different names and then you add one of the same original type and tribute of those monsters but a different name from your deck to your hand. So everything is a worm uh, life type monster. Banish two of them and get their effects next turn plus you also add one from that effect. Dimensional fish, any monster since the graveyard is banished inf instead. Gold sarcophagus, you banish a card from your deck and then two turns later comes to your hand so maybe a necroface or one of these depending on the situation. Metaphys fact is a field spell, so you can uh, level five or higher Metaphys monster can be normal summoned without tributing, but it's uh, banished during the end phase of the next turn. Uh, opponent can activate cards effects in response to Metaphys monster's effect activation, so that's also pretty good. Uh, pot of acquittedness, banish, uh, sorry, target three banish monsters, shuffle all three in the deck, draw a card. You can only activate one per turn. Uh, trade in as well because we have plenty of what one two three four four five level eight monsters Macrocosmos so uh, forget Helios the probably money or sun effect But while this card is faced on the field any card sent to the graveyard is banished instead So that works well because of the trap card Okay, anyway the Metaphys Ascension is discard a Metaphys card draw a card then banish a Metaphys monster from your deck Yeah, so pretty cool also, if this card is banished, you can add a Metaphys card from your deck to your hand except Ascension. And now we have Dimension, which has a couple of useful effects. If your opponent special summons a monster except during the damage step, you can target one of your Benefish. Sorry, one of your banished Metaphys monsters special summon it, but banish it during the end phase of the next turn. 
if your other Metaphys card in its owner's possession is banished while this card is already face up in your spell trap zone, you can target a card your opponent controls and you banish it. You can only use each effect once per turn. So yeah, if you watch the second drill, you see I was using this, especially that uh, second effect is actually pretty useful, or disruption or just getting rid of annoying cards. Now three mirror force because there's a good chance you're not going to have any monsters on the field or maybe just one. Uh, it's pretty good anyway for protection. Then run uh, the Solons as well, negates more protections. And then I run three Waterfall of Dragon Souls, which is, he has two different effects, you activate one of them. Add a worm type monster from your deck to hand, which is uh, anything except the like uh, Salamander, which is Dinosaur or the Necroface, that's a zombie. And the other one is send any number of worm type monsters from your hand and or face up from your field to the graveyard, draw cards equal to the number of monsters you sent off to the graveyard plus one. All right, extra deck is uh, Ancient Sacred Weaving, a Light Tuner, plus one and one non-tuner monsters, um, because obviously we got the Light Tuner in there, and all. Uh, yes, so yes, gains attack uh, during because of the life points difference. Uh, uh, let's see, Angel of Zera is useful because it gains 100 attack for each of your kind of opponent's banished cards, also during the standby phase of the next turn up. This card is banished, you use Special Summon it. So if you have the Dimensional Fisher or the Macro Cosmos on the field, this is pretty good. Uh, some level sixes like uh, Bryonic. Uh, the Metaphys Horus. Uh, so tuner plus non-tuner monster. If this card is Synchro Summon, you can activate the appropriate effect depending on the non-tuner monster. Use that Synchro material. Normal monster, this face-up card is unaffected by the card effects this turn. Effect monster, you can target a, one other face-up card on the field and get that target's effects. Pendulum monster, your opponent chooses one monster they control and gives control of it to you, but it cannot attack this turn. Uh, Star Eater, and we've also got a Stardust Dragon there. And let's see, Gaga Cowboy, it's the only rank 4 monster I got. Uh, full armor, Ooh, that goes with the Prime Photon Dragon, uh, Draco Sack, yeah, a few Link monsters, Deco Talker, Hippo Shinigan, Pentastag, Palco Talker, and Arda Clock Taker, not too many, you don't. You can if you want to, but I didn't really use anything. I was just mostly just using the effects, just banishing and whatnot. Anyway, until next time, uh, thank you all for watching and uh, see you again soon.